So I said I was not going to do it again. I swore off going to the thrift store. And yet, here I am in the parking lot. Time to go thrifting. <laughs> Back to the thrift. I usually always head to the toys when I visit this thrift store. That's my first stop. The Cabbage Patch dolls have been here for weeks, a month, two months. They have been here for a long time and I just don't get it because Cabbage Patch dolls are popular. They are collected. They are resold. And I could never understand why no one wanted these poor guys and gals. Well, then I saw why. $14.14. .14. Did someone donate them all? Have they just accumulated? Have they multiplied sitting there on the shelf? I don't know. And then look at this one. I think he's even more expensive. $24.24, but marked down. Now, in the world of Cabbage Patch dolls, buying and selling, you can make money on them. It just has to be the right doll, the right accessory, the right clothing item. Clothes seem to sell better than the physical doll. Again, depending on the doll, prices range from anywhere between $5 for a Cabbage Patch doll to $20 to $15 to the big, the big buck dolls. Accessories are perhaps maybe a bit harder to find, especially in the original package. So if you ever come across any Cabbage Patch dolls, accessories such as the pacifier, diapers, clothing, in original packaging, I would suggest uh, picking it up. Now for the Cabbage Patch dolls that are the big money dolls, they are the Little People dolls. The Little People dolls were made in the 1970s by Xavier Roberts, with many being sold at folk art exhibitions. The Little People evolved into Cabbage Patch Kids around 1982 and became instant classics in the toy community. As you can see here, the Little People dolls are, are big money. I have not come across one, but if you do find one, they look a bit different than the regular Cabbage Patch dolls. They have a different tag. Pick it up. Glassware, glassware, glassware. This thrift store must either sell out of their glassware or they don't accept the clear glass because they only have a few shelves full of it. But if you need some stemware, some wine glasses for your upcoming holiday parties, why not check out your thrift store? It's bound to be cheaper than going to another shop. I've always wanted one of these little ladies. They're a bit too expensive for me in the store. So $2.92, she was coming home with me. I think she would look great with a little head full of bottle brush trees or even some of the fake succulents that I come across every now and then. Lots of mugs if you're a mug kind of person or if you need a white elephant gift, a vintage mug would be perfect for that gift giving situation. Tchotchkes. They always have these little assortment of tchotchkes. This guy was $18.18. It was made in the USA, but put it back on the shelf. The poor precious moments have been here for weeks and you have just an array of other items. Little Mickey has a chip. He didn't know. He did have a price, $1.91. And then we have just an array, an assortment. I spotted something in the back there. We have those bears. This guy, these have been everywhere lately. It's like a massive amount of people just decided to donate their collection. And then I spotted the Campbell's Soup Kids. Not that desired, but if you know someone that collects Campbell's, $6.96, not too bad. A little case of thread, perfect for those that like to craft. VHS tapes, file folders. And then I spotted these. These are vintage Hawaiian punch playing cards and not one, but actually multiple sets. And they were only $1.91. They're vintage, why not? Let's do a little research. So the Hawaiian Sun cards, they there's a market for them. They do sell on eBay, prices range all over, but for $1.91, I should be able to get my money back and sell them. Now, if you are ever cleaning out an estate, going through a closet, a pantry of a relative, and they're the type that maybe stocked up a little too much when there was a sale. If you come across the vintage Hawaiian punch items such as the canned juice and even the gum, don't throw it out. Do not throw it out. There is a market for it on eBay and they sell consistently. Only a brief 
glance at some of the clothes at the thrift and I regret not picking this up. What is it you ask? Well, I don't know when you're going to see another 12 days of Christmas skirt and blazer complete with shoulder pads for $4.99. Why oh why didn't I buy this beauty? I could have worn it to my family's Christmas party. Would have been the talk of the party, but I put it back. I should probably go back and see if it's still there. So we learned a lot at the thrift store. Shouldn't thrifting be an educational opportunity to learn what to look for if what you're looking for in the thrift is not the right thing? It's always interesting to see what you pick up, what you research, and then what you learn from that research. And that's one of the benefits of thrifting, I guess. And I did pick up that cute little planter for myself. I've been wanting one, now I have one. She will look really good with some bottle brush trees. Well, I hope you enjoyed this thrifting experience and little educational experience on what is out there in the reselling world. You might have it in your attic, your basement, or you might find it at your next thrift store. Thanks for watching, hope you have a great day. Stay tuned for more adventures here at Paper and Moose.